answer me this, though, Bobo, that I know you strap. Break down the story behind that thing, man. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. I went to, um, there was a big concert mm-hmm. in Dallas. I mean, I mean, almost like one of those radio, you know, birthday bash. Type yeah, yeah. Everybody's there. UGK was in attendance. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and then after the show, I'm thinking Chad gone. Yeah. You know, and so he called me. Like two days later, two or three days later, he said, bro, you're going to be pissed. I'm still in your town. I ain't reached out to you. He said, but I've been working. That's yeah. why. And he said, uh, come by. I need something to smoke on. Yes. Come by. And so where he was, he wasn't even, that's, the part that pissed me off was he was like five minutes from me. <laughs> nigga around said, the corner. Nigga. Yeah. I went around the corner and went up and he was in a presidential suite. Mm-hmm. And when I went inside, the guy, Ron, mm-hmm. he's in there and he's in there with his brother, mm-hmm. Smoothie. And so I go, I, you know, we go into the bedroom. It's like the president's so you know how you got the living room area, kitchen area, and the bedroom area was separate with a door. So we go in there to do the transaction, and he say, Pah, he just start laughing. I said, what's wrong with you, nigga? He said, I'm in there pissing them out. I said, what you do? He said, well, back when Chad and Bum was signed on big time, there was a guy who was affiliated with big time that he felt owed him some bread. Mm. I'm not going to mention his name. Yeah. And that was his partner. See, the dude that was in there, Ron, mm. and the guy Chad was talking about are the two guys who threw the concert at the Wedding Wow at the at the water park, mm-hmm. you know, that I was mentioning earlier. So I had to remind him. I said, well, that's the guy. He had a broke arm at that time. Yeah. And I said, that's also the guy who shot you the ghost at the studio mm. for the bitch get up off me. Yeah. He said, what? I'm really finna go Turn that knife in on the ass now, <laughs> and so we get through. We go, we smoke one, and he he's got his keyboard and his R eight in the in the kitchen area. He yeah, said, yeah. check this out, Bobo. Bam, hit this old funky ass beat. I'm like, man, that motherfucker rocking. Yeah, yeah. he said it's for them. Mm. I said, cool. And so something must have happened the next day or two because they they left. Yeah, money has been exchanged, everything, but they got unsatisfied with the beat some kind of way, mm. and so. Chad is Chad. <laughs> nigga, fuck that shit. Nigga, I already gave you my motherfucking. I mean, I'm, yeah. I would throw a beat away. Is what he I throw a motherfucking beat away before I give you some garbage. Yeah. That, Bubba, was that bitch jamming? I said, that bitch was jamming, but I know it's jamming. Yeah. And so I said, okay. So it took about, because they're you know, moving around. Yeah. He was in between Atlanta and Houston at the yeah. time. You know, it took about almost a year before Chad came back. To Dallas, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying, to 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 handle that. Mm-hmm. And so when he came back to Dallas, mama and the guy was always in communication. Yeah. Trying to squash it. Yeah. So when he came back to Dallas, that's when we was getting ready to do the bitch get a problem. Right. Mm-hmm. So we're in the presidential suite at the Anatole. I never forget we was coming up with the hook and how we was gonna lay it down. And he said, I guess I'll knock out this this track. Yeah. For these guys. So no problem. We go and, you know, so the next day, no, that night. We go to the studio, this different studio, and how the studio is, it's, it's all glass, mm-hmm. you know, and, and you can see the parking lot where, when people drive up, mm-hmm. and then there's a lobby area, then there's couches. We're all sitting, me, Chad, Biz, all these guys, you know, we just sitting right there. Yeah. We can see when cars pull up. Mm-hmm. And so, Ron is sitting right there. Mm-hmm. Ron is sitting right there, and uh, we see this, guy, this, this, this SUV pull up. Yeah. And this guy jump out. Chad and me, you know, because he, that that motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that, nigga, you don't put me in a motherfucking crossing, blah, blah, blah. Oh, the dude came in and charged Chad up. That's what he did. Mm-hmm. He tried to say, Chad, I heard you been talking about me from that hotel situation. Yeah. I'm saying, that's some girl shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. First of all, he say, she say, so the nigga felt, you know, Chad felt like when the dude put us in the cross, Bobo, everybody, let's go, let's, I don't even want to be a part of this shit. Yeah. So that was before they even touched the touched the buttons, they even fix it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we leave. The next day, it's time to do Bitch Get Up Off Me. We go to this studio called The Kitchen. Shout out to my guy, JP, yeah. at The Kitchen. We at The Kitchen making hits and ends. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> so we doing Bitch Get Up Off Me. My little brother, Goody Ray, in the house. I think a, a, another group of uh, starving artists is over there. And sure enough, mm-hmm. I, I know Chad went outside to smoke one. Mm-hmm. And he said, man, it's a car just parked down the street 
a, 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 a square light Benz, one of them old school Mercedes Benz, yeah, with the lights off. Mm. I don't know what's going on. I said, huh, because we in South Dallas, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I don't know if that that might not mean none of y'all, but Oak Hill, South Dallas. Okay, hey, hey, yeah. hey, hey, we in South Dallas. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> what the fuck? You know, is this a, a move or something? Mm-hmm. So, uh, we had a Navigator uh, SUV, and I was driving, and next thing you know, the dude walk in the door, mm. and Biz had just gone into the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? He was strapped. Yeah. You know, and uh, they got to talking back and forth, back and forth, and. Next thing you know, be as kind. And the bathroom was like a big ass gymnasium type with those old school tiles that used to yeah. be in grandma's house. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it had those. And so when he cocked that gun, mm. that motherfucker echoed through the whole studio. <laughs> clow, 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 clow. And the dude <laughs> was standing right there. Yeah. And so he looked over like, oh, I see. Uh, I see what kind of part of this is. Yeah. I see what kind of part of this is. And he said, Bobo. Come here, let me let me holler at you. Mm-hmm. You know, because like I said, from seventh grade, you know, yeah. I'm not afraid of the guy. We cool. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I told I told Pimp, I said, this ain't the one. <laughs> this ain't the one to be toying with. Yeah. This ain't the one. Because yeah. I know him. You know, so I know yeah. I know him. And um Um yeah, and I Chad put his hand on my chest. Bobo, you ain't Bobo ain't going nowhere. <laughs> this is my homeboy, nigga. nigga da, 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 da. I said, like, oh shit, and it just got worse and worse and worse. And so the nigga said, okay, all right, and he left out the door. I looked over at everybody. I said, say, I don't know if y'all feeling like the way I'm feeling, but I think we all need to get. <laughs> I think we need to get Chad looked at yeah. me and said, I think you're right. Yeah. And then we got in that navigator. I was driving. I hopped curb <laughs> trying to get that because the freeway, the way the freeway is, it was a it's a funny U-turn. And yeah, we got on that freeway and got the fuck out and went straight back to the room. But the next day or so, or within the week or so, the guy, because Chad went back to Houston, yeah. did his thing, and we got word. That Ron had put a hit out on Chad's life. Damn. Yeah, I mean, he, when I say bread it. Yeah. And come find out the guy who he contacted to do the hit yeah. was affiliated with Jay Prince. So he get in touch with Jay Prince. Yeah. Jay Prince said, no, 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 <laughs> no, no. No, 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 no. The Matumbo. No, 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 no. We got money to make. Come on. Yeah, we got motherfucking money to make. So they, they sent for the guy. The guy come, they talk it up. I don't know what all became of that situation, Mm -hmm. but I think something was squashed. Mm -hmm. From what I heard, it was just like, hey, man, I got money to make with this guy. You know, with his 20 grand, you know, here it is. Yeah. Well, fuck, it's 20 grand. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? I carry that in my sock. Exactly. Jay Prince, you know, it's Jay Prince. Come on now. So, um, and after that, man, I don't know what happened. We were at a club. This is about a year or so later, mm-hmm. UGK came down, and it was just, this guy This guy was downstairs. I was opening up. I did this song called Already. Uh-huh. Back in the day, that's how people in Dallas started saying Already all over Texas. Okay, and now? So, yeah, so I did Already in the 90s, <clears throat> and um, it was big. And so we, I'm opening up for UGK. I'm downstairs smoking in my car, and this constable in plain clothes is outside with the big cowboy hat. Yeah, yeah. You know, looking like, you know, Walker, Texas Walker. <laughs> <laughs> Texas Ranger. You know what I'm talking about? I'm with you. Whatever his name is, yeah. Wood. And so I said, he walking around with uh, Bun and Chats. Uh, 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 promo pictures, the glossy, the black and white from Jive. Mm. You know, y'all, y'all seen these guys? And Damn. he came up to me, I was like, I don't know them. Shit. I don't know him at all, so I got to trying to call him and call him and let him know there was somebody up there looking for him. They wasn't answering the phones. Mm-hmm. So I went on and did my show, Yeah, and they told me that they were in the building. Mm-hmm. And so I, where they were, they were in the office of the manager. So I got off stage, and I, hey, man, woo, 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 this guy down there looking for y'all. He, he, he here, to, I don't know what he's here for. Yeah. So Red Boy was right there. You know Red? Mm-hmm. Red Boy said, shit, let's, they get the fuck up out of here. So they yeah. all left. They left Rambo. <laughs> Rambo was the, was the sound man. I had to take Rambo to the to the to the uh, Anatole. Yeah. <clears throat> and but to find out that the club owner had let that that guy and all his killers 
in that club. What? And rap a lot was in that motherfucker deep. What? And if I wouldn't have done what I did, as soon as Chad and Bun hit that stage, it was going to be a problem. Damn. And I didn't think about that until just sitting here talking to you. Yeah. If I wouldn't have done what I did right then and go in there and tell them, hey, man, there's some people looking for you. And if Red Boy didn't have the presence of mind to say, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. It would have it would have been probably a bad situation that we would have been talking about to this day. Oh, my God. Yeah, it was. It was. I mean, it was some killers in that house. I mean, from Fort Worth, Texas, yeah. from Dallas, all over. It was just. I'm glad it didn't go down like that.